It all started with a flick of a switch and caused a flood of reaction. It was an article that Carl Jones, assistant editor at the Shropshire Star, had written about light bulbs that found itself under the spotlight, resulting in BBC's The One Show taking up the story. Carl explains. Six months ago, I wrote a fairly innocent blog that went in Shropshire Star page eight, and then it went online about the fact that I thought I wasn't very happy that we were all being forced to turn over to these eco-friendly light bulbs. Why couldn't we, in some parts of the house, keep the old ones? Because in my front room, at the top of my stairs, I still reckon the old bulbs were brighter than the new ones. So I wrote this blog, and it just took off from there. It was the most commented item on the Shropshire Star website last year. I had. Um, people coming to me saying I was a Luddite stuck in the 20th century and other people saying thank goodness somebody has recognised what I've been saying all along. Shropshire expats came on board and said thank you we're having problems with our new light bulbs they're not good enough. Some people set up petitions and it all basically went berserk. New EU rules come into force this week banning the sale of old-fashioned 40 watt bulbs. But can any of us tell the difference between traditional bulbs and energy saving equivalents? Well, the One Show producers were determined to find out. They, they collared six of us to do a bit of a, a light bulb test. They got four light bulbs, uh, one old fashioned one and three new ones. And we did a blind test. We all sat with our backs to these bulbs and then we had to choose which one we thought was the old light bulb. Did Carl guess correctly? If I tell you I chose one of the new light bulbs instead of one of the old light bulbs. I wasn't the only one, but I chose one of the new light bulbs. My credibility is now in tatters, or I've been buying my eco-friendly bulbs from the wrong shop. But despite his reputation in tatters, Carl still stands by his argument. 75% of the people who responded to my blog online who thought I was a Luddite and presumed that I wrote with a quill pen will presumably be completely vindicated, delighted. Um, but I do stand by the fact that this experiment actually proved that okay. You can have four different 40 watt bulbs and they don't all give the same sort of light out. So it's definitely a talking point. It's been a bit of fun, but uh, I wish I'd got the right answer. Carl's piece is expected to broadcast on BBC One on Wednesday night. So has this made him want to change his bulbs? I'm sticking, I'm happy with my reading light in the front room and I'm happy with my old fashioned bulb at the top of the stairs. <laughs>